All right, Apple II here, we're back. This one's gonna be a little bit different than what I normally look at on the Apple because typically with an Apple II, you're talking about stuff that was early 90s or somewhere in the 80s. But this one that I'm gonna look at today is actually slated for a 2016 release. Uh, it's not out yet, so it's like a sneak peek at this game called Genius Into the Toy Warehouses. And uh, I, I was contacted a little bit ago. You can see here the date, 2016. Uh, I was asked if I wanted to take a look at this. And uh, we see the creator's name here, Daniel Liverani. Um, he said that this is inspired by a rock opera which he had written and released in the early 2000s. And so I looked him up and he's a composer and he plays piano and guitar and stuff and he's you know really talented and he wanted to make this game to kind of tie into that and it's the first part of a trilogy so the basic gist of the story is that you play as genius and genius is a drummer that finds his way into the world of dreams and he finds the toy warehouses which is let's see let me see how it's exactly worded here. The secret places where all toy fantasies are stored, ready to be used for the creation of children's dreams. So you have to free the toys from the warehouses. So we'll we'll jump into it here. Um, this has mocking board support, which I had never heard of because I'm pretty much a, a novice when it comes to the Apple, but what it means is there's music while you play the game which in a lot of my Apple videos I complain about no music while I'm playing so that's actually really cool but uh, we'll just get into it here so you're genius you know and you can go left or right you push up to jump and as long as you push up you'll keep going up you can let down to descend or just let go if you push down you'll accelerate Basically, you just want to collect the key and then open the door and you want to dodge the bad guys so that bomb, the bad dude, you don't want him. We want that alarm clock. going around and collecting the keys and trying to dodge the enemies and it's really easy to accidentally walk into them. I, I've played a little bit here and I get I don't I don't know what's wrong with me. I know it's a bad guy, I don't know why I want to walk into it, but when you do he explodes. Oh, like that. <laughs> At some point there are one-up bonuses that you can pick up and uh, it says in the instruction manual that he's made that you can't use that as an exploit to run the score up because you know you could just like in other games grab the one-up get a bunch of points and die and then repeat the process but he's made sure that doesn't happen which I think is really cool um, you know it's just a, a good attention to detail Oh god, let me get out before he gets me. Okay, cool. If you hang around for a little bit, a little detonator will appear. I don't know if it appears on every level. We'll, we'll see here. There it is. So if you touch that, it kills all the smaller enemies. Later on, there's bigger ones. See, so as you go, it gets more complicated, and the there will be more enemies on each level after a while, and pretty soon, like I said, there's a bigger enemy. There's a giant padlock that can show up, and I guess if you touch that guy, it relocks all the doors. So I've taken great care to not not touch that guy. I've managed to evade him 
That's the only thing I managed not to run into so far. I've uh, maybe because he's bigger, I can see him. I don't know. This is easier to avoid that guy. Uh, let's see. But you know, it's a uh, cool kind of. It feels like a a game that would have came out back then, and you know, we might have had it at school or something. It would have been pretty fun to play. See who could run up the highest score. It seems like a good strategy is to wait for the detonator to appear, and then you get a good point bonus off of that. But it depends on how fast you can go. If you can clear the level in a hurry, then maybe not. See, look at this shark. You don't want to mess with him. You know, control's good, it looks pretty good. And it's playable, that's the main thing to me, is that, you know, it's really playable. And it's one of those games where if you make a mistake and you die, it's your fault. You know, there's one of the things of Apple II games from back then is that, you know, sometimes you'd run into a game where you would just die and, like, you didn't do anything wrong. It was just some oversight in the programming or something like that, but in this, you, if you die, it's probably something you did, and I appreciate that. Alright, so now as long as I don't run into the shark, I'll be able to get this drum free. There's an option in the menu to turn the open doors from white to green, but I'm okay with the white, so I'll just leave it. You play with the keyboard if you want, but I gotta... A wired 360 pad here that I'm using and it's pretty pretty handy pretty reliable so come on get out of there And it's got a timer, which I generally am not a fan of in games. I know that like 80s arcade style games, like they're going to have timers. But the one that's here seems pretty fair, so I can't complain about it at all. You know, normally I would be bitching about it, but... Come on, bomb, get out of the way. Oh, there's a padlock. You don't want to touch that guy. Look at his face. He just looks like a bad guy. I'm not sure, but I don't think the detonator blows him up. I think he still hangs out for a little bit. Oh, jeez. Go, go, go before he gets there. Take that. So it's pretty nice. You know, I can't really speak to uh, a lot of lesser known Apple II games because I didn't have one when I was a kid. I just played at school. But, I, you know, in the last couple of years here since I've been doing this, I look at Apple II stuff every once in a while and uh, in general I'm kinda down on some of them because either they control weird or you know I don't like the graphics compared to some other port or something like that but I think this one's alright It's kind of got what a, an old arcade game needs. It's a, a goal that you can figure out without... It's not too complex, but it's not too simple. And 
you know, it's just challenging enough. It's not not too hard or too easy. Oh, jeez. And then you start talking to yourself and you run into that guy. Alright, let's see. Don't come over here. Okay, thank you. Oh, padlock man. See, there's a... Okay, let's blow these guys up. There's a free man in the middle there. The little head icon. Because you can see my life counter down in the lower right. So... Oh, that was close. You know what, let's touch this guy and see what happens. Oh no, they all came back. Oh crap, okay. <laughs> Man, I wasn't kidding. Locks all the way. At least I don't have to dodge the enemies though. That's cool. Alright, so you really don't want to touch that guy because... Oh wait, there's a big key. Oh jeez. I think the big key unlocks all the doors, I'm not sure. Sweet, okay. I guess I gotta collect them all before I can open the last door. But that's cool, at least they're all unlocked. The instruction manual hints at an invincibility pickup and uh, hidden items, but I don't think I found any of those yet. So maybe they're not in these earlier levels, or maybe I just haven't touched the right spot. I think this is as far as I got last time. I don't remember. Oh, no. I got hung up on the corner there and bumped the guy. So now, in this game, when it says 001, if you die, that's it. So there is no zero life. So you gotta make sure you're being careful. Jeez. Come on, Padlock, get out of there. Thank you. I know I for sure don't want to touch that guy. But at least he doesn't kill you if you touch him. Oh no, you got me. Crap. <laughs> Come back, big key. Alright, well, I gotta get that. So hopefully this guy doesn't start moving. There we go. Now all I gotta do is avoid that guy in the middle and I should be okay.
Alright, guitar, I need that free man before I pick you up. Cool. Alright, so, like I say, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely on par with stuff that came out in the era, and probably better than a lot of it. Oh wow, a train. Man, look at how many doors there are. Holy crap. Kind of getting hung up a little bit on some of these corners, but that might just be me. I was playing something recently, I don't remember what it was, but man, I had this thing calibrated all wrong. I was going all over the place. I was like, man. Don't come down here. Oh, I don't want the lock to touch me either. What the hell? I'm stuck. Go away, go away, go away. No. Ah. Ah. Stay away. Those sweet moves. Man, I sure wish Detonator would appear. I'd love to blow these guys up. See, I've been going this long and the timer's only down to 72. So like I say, I think the... Oh, here we go. Die. I think the timer is really fair. Maybe it's... Oh, jeez. Look at the right door. Huh. Maybe if there's like different difficulties or something, it would... Be, oh, no. No, no, no. You bastard. Ah. Uh, how dare you. Anyway, maybe if there's different difficulties, then it gets quicker, or the score, maybe you don't get as many points later on or something, but uh, for me, I think it's alright. And I think after I finish this level, I'm going to call it a video, because I don't want to show the whole thing. Um, when this comes out, I would, you know, people need to check it out and experience for themselves so you know if you show the whole thing I usually have a thing with I don't play a lot of newer newer games on here at all because you know people put time into working on them I don't want to give it away because you know somebody wanted you to go on the ride not have it ridden for you so with new games and with this you know, you want to let everybody experience what, as much as they can. So, we'll cut off at level 10. I'm just shy of 20 minutes here. Oh wow, look at that robot. But, uh, yeah, genius into the toy warehouses. Uh, I'll put a link to the, the rock opera in question in the description. And, uh, I'm sure that uh, Mr. Liberani will chime in in the comments to maybe field anybody's questions or anything if they want to know about it but uh, I think it's pretty cool so that's my look at the beta of genius into the toy warehouses pretty cool so I will see you in another one and thanks for watching